Do you want to be in this video? Do you want to be in it? One of you. Whoa! There go my notes. <laughs> Good job. Hey everyone, Jamie Lee here from Bird Tricks, and today with my Camelot Makatsusa, I'm going to be doing a video about what to look for in an avian vet and what to run away from. So because of my lifestyle in the past of being extensive traveling, I've had the pleasure of working with some amazing exotic vets, some amazing, very experienced vet techs, some non-avian vets that just weren't afraid to ask for help or outside information, and then also just some really incapable veterinarians when it comes to birds who are in over their heads and a little too nervous to admit it. You just want to be up. Okay. How about here? Would you be happier there? Because you're cute. We don't want to be next to uh, Tusa the Hiccupper. You seriously going to do that the whole video? Yeah, apparently. Okay. So first of all, I want to go over what to do. Um, nope, I lost my train of thought because you guys are like really intense. I don't know if I can film this with you guys. Ah! Okay. Focus. All right, so the first thing is the whole list of find a different avian veterinarian if, <laughs> and the first thing is if they're uncomfortable holding or handling your parrot. So if they have no idea what species of bird you have brought in and are very uncomfortable handling your bird, find a new vet. Uh, an avian qualified specialist should be no stranger to this. Number two is if your avian uh, veterinarian tells you to come back with your bird when it's showing more signs of being sick or uh, more obvious signs of being uh, sick, definitely find a new vet. When birds have uh, obvious symptoms, that's usually when it's uh, completely too late. So, seriously, uh, the whole time? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh my gosh, what is going on? What's with Tusa and his hiccups? Uh -uh. You don't want to sit by him? Uh -uh. I don't blame you. Uh -uh. I kind of don't want to sit by him right now either. Another telltale sign uh -uh. that you need to find a new avian veterinarian is if they weigh uh -uh. your bird in anything other than grams. Uh -uh especially pounds. If they're like, hey, your bird was just shy of two pounds, oh boy. Uh, every avian veterinarian should be weighing your bird in grams. That's where you're gonna be able to tell of weight gain or weight loss. Okay, you guys. You guys are the noisiest companions. I mean, I could have brought the sun conjures in and had less vocalizations. Right? Oh, you're so prickly. So prickly. How about a bath? Would a bath do it? All right. While they are showering, they will be back in just a little bit. Uh, the other things are, I think I was at number three, number four. Anyway, if your vet doesn't ask probing questions about your bird's environment or your bird's diet, seek another veterinarian. They should always be curious about what you are doing and what you are feeding and what you are putting in your bird's body or around your bird's body and environment. Um, they should want to know these things to better the life of your bird and give you good advice to follow. The last thing is that they don't educate you or teach you during the process of learning about your bird. So when you bring your bird in for an exam, they should be explaining illnesses and procedures to you so that you feel at ease going through this and you have a better understanding of things. Usually we fear what we don't understand. So the more they explain to you, um, the better it's going to be long-term for you and your bird and every exam thereafter because you're just gonna have a better understanding each and every time. So you want to have a veterinarian who's willing to take Take the time to give you explanations and educate you about your bird. None of us want to be in the position where we have to drive hours with a critically ill bird just to seek treatment. So try finding a local vet that is close to you that can just do an annual exam, send out for blood work, and kind of explain the basics to you for that well bird exam. If you do need better care, make sure that you get that contact from that local vet. Tell them to reach out. I know in my area, I'm, I'm pretty much all by myself up here in Northern Idaho. I have traveled extensively, so I've had some access to some amazing 
avian certified specialists, some amazing exotic veterinarians, and then I actually have a vet that's about an hour and a half away from me that I use for all of my exams because she's not afraid to ask for help and she's helped me with a numerous research for my toucan who you can't really find a vet on toucans anywhere. I just dropped my pen. <laughs> um, but it's really nice to have an avian veterinarian or just a veterinarian in general who's willing to ask their colleagues for help and advice and seek greater knowledge on the topics that they maybe aren't feeling completely confident in. Also, any vet can draw blood and send out for blood work. However, um, please trust your gut on this. I walked into a veterinary office that's only 15 minutes from me and the handling of my birds was not done well. Uh, they were put through so much stress that I knew the results I was gonna get back in were going to be just all over the board. Um, a good avian vet will usually want to do the blood work right up front so they can get the best results without putting so much stress on the bird versus if they give a physical exam first, the bird's going to have just stress elevated like crazy, then when they do the blood work, it's gonna come back all over the board. So keep in mind, they should know these things. They should also be confident in handling your bird. I've been asked on numerous occasions to towel and hold my own bird, also to pull feathers back and away from the skin so that the vein is visible, and your vet tech and your veterinarian should be capable of doing this on their own. Um, it's always a good idea for you to to grab onto as much ed education as possible, but I know for me, sometimes I don't wanna be associated with certain exams. So keep that in mind that if you are new to birds, you maybe have a rescue bird and you don't want your relationship to be going downhill first thing on that association with a traumatic experience, that you may ask your vet and vet tech to fully take care of that as they should. The other thing about vets that deal with birds a lot is that they understand when something just isn't right. We may not have a physical sign of the bird being puffed up or maybe even not have the droppings that are even different. Um, and hormonal or hormonal droppings can often be runny as well, but runny droppings can be a sign of something else too. And so vets with experience with birds will understand that something just isn't right and that that's your first sign of taking them in. Because if you wait for something more obvious, like the fluffed up feathers hanging out of the bottom of the cage, the fecal matter just being totally off, even you know blood in the stool, something that's way more obvious, they know that your bird is likely on its deathbed and it doesn't have long. When birds start showing those obvious signs, we just are usually out of time. So keep in mind that they should be very uh, happy that you're coming in before there's very obvious signs of illness. And that's also why the well bird exam, the annual exam that you should be doing with your bird is so important so that you can line up those numbers each and every year and see where your bird's falling into and make sure that it looks good and normal. Make sure that you have your bird's well bird exam when it's at its healthiest so that you have those awesome numbers to compare to. If that isn't an option for you, just go ahead and get a panel done so that you have some sort of data. You guys are soaked. Oh, leave room. Let me move my computer. i just move you further away. Oh my gosh. Okay. They're back. The wet chickens are back. Uh, the last thing I wanted to say in this video is that my parrot ownership guide, oh no, has a bunch more information on this topic if you're curious about how to interview a vet, what questions to ask, and really go and dive in deep on these details. It also has a safe metals guide, um, a guide on vitamin A deficiency, wow, that's cold, um, <laughs> safe produce guide, whole bunch of different data that will help you um, <laughs> just be a better bird owner, <laughs> all the things. So uh, if you want to find value in that, it also has some emergency first aid talk in there for all the things. And hopefully your veterinarian can educate you on some basic first aid, just to be able to transport an injured bird or a sick bird safely so that for future, you have that information on hand and you aren't trying to find it or source it in a panic. So hopefully this video helped you. If you have a great resource for, an, for a vet that you use for your birds, please leave it in a comment below. People are always looking in their area for veterinarians that they can rely on. So maybe put your general area in the vet that you recommend. And I think that'll help a lot of people 
people in the comments. Um, like I said, I drive an hour and a half to a vet that I really like using, um, and it's about three hours to an avian specialist where I am. So, whew, and it's about 15 minutes to a vet that doesn't know what they're doing <laughs> at all. So, it can be a little bit tricky. Um, I've definitely made sure that I learn everything I can at each and every appointment that I go to so that I'm better educated for the next time and for anything that comes up with my own birds. So we're back to hiccups. All right, on that note, if this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and share with your bird loving friends. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for all things parrot related. Thanks so much for watching. Look how soaking wet and cute you are. So soaking wet and cute. Look at these hairstyles. Feather styles. Oh my gosh. Okay, my chair is soaked. You guys want to dry off on the tree instead? That would be a good idea. That would be a better idea.